Information is power. You know, all information that you get, even information that is unpleasant, and uh, information, if you receive, receive un- information from someone, sometimes, I mean, that uh, turns out to be non-true. Uh, it's still constructive because you found that out. All righty. Oh, you're talking about the history of Mohandas uh, Gandhi? Yes, sir. And that he said derogatory things about black people? Correct. He may have. He may have. I don't know. Uh, I've heard people say that. I've heard historians say that, that he he spoke uh, in a very derogatory manner about black people in general on several occasions. And uh, the only thing I have to say about that is that 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 wouldn't be unique. I mean, uh, black people speak, you know, derogatory about each other uh, and brag about it each and every day. So for Mr. Gandhi to have done that, why single him out? I'm saying this is this goes with the territory. Uh, you know, the victims of racism, and Mr. Gandhi was a victim of racism. I mean, that's what we do. The truth be told. So, you know, for any prominent black person to do so, it just means that's just another black person speaking in a derogatory manner about people who are subject to the system of white supremacy. And uh, we pick on each other about that all the time in one form or another. So it's nothing to be alarmed about. That's the bottom line. I mean, you know, you say, well, you know, he, he's a leader and he shouldn't have been talking like that and all like that. Well, I mean, what about all of us? The way we talk to each other each and every day. I mean, here in, not back in Gandhi's day, but right here in 2016, you can't you can't get on a bus without feeling the tension. And this is for years. Yes, I'm talking about my own experiences. Without feeling the tension that goes on between black people, I mean, ready to go at each other at any drop of a hat. But it's understandable. Because history has proven that people who are kicked around and who are down and out and, and who don't know which way to go and not in control of anything, they're just angry about anything. And who do they lash out uh, against? They lash out against the slave that they're tied to. Because there's nobody to lash out against. They don't know whom to lash out against. They're not in contact with anybody except other slaves. I mean, they're usually kept under conditions where this is where they all herd it together. Like prisoners are, prisoners are herded together. We call it the black community, but there's no such thing as that. Mm -hmm. You can't be a prisoner of war and be a community. It's just slaves herded together. Wherever black people are located, that's not a community. There's no such thing as a black community. And we need to even stop using that term. We're just a bunch of people who the white supremacists say, go here, go there. You're going to be over here in this camp. You're going to be in that camp. You're going to be in this cell. You're going to be in that cell because they have made a prison for people of color. They have made a prison of the entire planet. Mm -hmm. So anywhere we go on the planet, we are under the system of white supremacy. So it's natural that we will lash out at each other. That goes with the territory.